I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about accountability and empowerment and how they flow through the cooperative. So first, we start with the member owners. They're at the top of the scale. The member owners have the most power in the cooperative, and they pass some of that power on to the board of directors. People, just like the member owners, Board of Directors passes power to the general manager by being clear about the expectations that they have for the cooperative. Then the general manager passes power to the staff and operations. And all of that power is designed to achieve the ends of the co-op so that people's needs are met. So power, the definition of power that I'm using is the ability to get things done. The co-op is doing good work and so we want everybody to have the power to get things done but they do different kinds of things. So that's why power is passed to the people who can actually get the things done that need to be done. Now, uh, we also want to have a counterbalance to that power so that there's some uh, accountability for how that power is used. And so accountability flows in the opposite direction. Accountability flows upward. Staff and operations are accountable to the manager. Manager is accountable to the board of directors. And the board of directors is accountable to the member owners.